Later, Darwin reveals his ambitions to his very concerned parents who live in a suburb of London called Yorkshire. More beans, Tarquin. I've got enough bloody beans, haven't I? It's dosh I need. What for this time? I'm starting my own business, haven't I? I'm going to sell coke at school, yeah? I need a supply, innit? Don't you think it would be advisable to stick with something a little more traditional, like cannabis? It's half a dozen geezers dealing that already, innit? And the profit margin's small, yeah? Must you append a rhetorical demand for affirmation to every sentence, darling? It's so common, isn't it? A couple of months ago, if memory serves me, you were keen to oversee a stable of prostitutes. I gave you 500 quid seed money. You've already packed it in? The bloody Albanians have prostitution all sewed up, don't they? I'll not have language like that at my dinner table, Tarquin. Right, the bloody Slovenians. <sighs> you may recall that your recent raping and pillaging in Enfield has already set me back 4,000 quid, and that's just for the pillaging. I'll pay you back! What exactly is pillaging? Well, it's a bit like looting, isn't it, son? Yeah, Dad, I look like it. <sighs> Frankly, Tarquin, I'm disinclined to give you any more money until you make your mind up what you're doing when you leave school. Gonna be a pop star, innit? A pop star? Oh, that's marvellous, darling! Why didn't we hear about this before? It's gonna be a surprise, won't it? For your birthday, innit? Oh. Father's Day, yeah? But how, son? I mean, it's not like football or plumbing, it's a tough old business to break into. I'm auditioning for megastars on telly. Oh! Oh, oh you're megas so proud, son! Such is Darkwing's sexual magnetism that even the headmistress at his school is trying to get some of that funky stuff. I take a very dim view of pupils setting their classmates afire, Tarquin. But I like to imagine that we can reach an accord. My perception is that you're the fifth form's alpha male. The boy or the girls want. The boy or the other boys want to be. The boy I was never able to interest when I was a teenager myself. Because my parents wouldn't get me the contact lenses I needed. Pulling you would feel like a vindication. You're making me enough uncomfortable. If you were to play ball, I could arrange for your having those two fourth form boys sold into white slavery. Not to go on your permanent record. I want more. I'm listening. I want to spend my days playing snooker, getting girls preggers and spraying Westlife graffiti on the side of buildings. What kind of degree do you want? Whatever those rich bastards in the city have, I want to be one of that lot. Wear jelly me hair, floss me teeth, holiday and Torremolinos and that. You wanted to speak to me, Davindra. I'm not doing the accent anymore, Davindra. I'm just bloody not. Davindra, please. I want to give Bollywood another go. I won't do smack my bitch up this time. I'll do a Hindi song instead. Our viewers expect you to be one of them, Davindra. You need the accent. Then I want fresh flowers in my dressing room at all times. If I never see Thai or Chinese food again, it'll be too soon. This can be arranged. I want takeaway from Gordon Bloody Ramsay. I want food prepared by people who've been bollocked mercilessly while cooking it. You can taste the difference. This can be arranged. And a boy band. I want a fit boy band singing to me naked while I'm getting made up. But not Westlife, they're rubbish. A boy band. Fit, but not Irish Devindra. And Orlando Bloom. Has he got a girlfriend? Well, Saka, I want him. Or Johnny Depp. The male film star of your choice, Devindra, I understand. And Liberal Democrats leader Charles Kennedy. I want him to get a sex change and start calling himself Charlotte. But what were we to tell his children, Davindra? You want the accent. You'll think of something. Oh. I sent my correspondent, Isabel Fay, to find out whom Darkwing will be competing against. <laughs>